My name is June Po. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Greenwich Natural Resources Institute. What I research on encompasses a whole variety of topics. I'm very interested in food culture and looking at how people have their, their values, knowledge, and, and rules shape how they go about their daily, daily activities. Your research is not UK focused. It's no beyond the UK. Tell me about that. My PhD was in Kenya, working with women within their families, how they make decisions on the farm, how that influenced the food and nutrition uh, security in their setting. And oftentimes, you learn more about how their culture, their beliefs, their, their dynamics within the home influence how decisions are made. As in any families, in any culture. How does that relate to engineering? I work with agricultural engineers, food scientists, uh, food microbiologists in, in a project that I'm recently in to learn about the human aspects of innovation and technology. And so it's this kind of interdisciplinary space which I contribute in the research. It's important to understand what are the needs and the challenges of, of communities and give voices to them. Who specifically are you giving voice to through your research? So for example, uh, we work with a great group of uh, amazing women in northern Kenya. There's some uh, Somali women camel milk traders and they started off as a self-help group trying to organize in, in expanding and building their camel milk uh, trade, bringing their very valuable product to local markets and in the markets in Nairobi. And we partner with them to, to learn about how they're coping and, and expanding and the challenges that they're meeting on a day-to-day -day and how they see their small enterprise growing. So how does your research have an impact in that situation? One of the key aims is to expose the different people along this value chain to reduce post-harvest loss of this very valuable camel milk, to train, increase their know-how on uh, different hygienic practices in order to raise the uh, safe food safety standard of this uh, camel milk so that can contribute to developing other camel milk products like yogurt, and even cheese. Tell me about the experience of researching here at Greenwich. Yeah, it has been an amazing opportunity to be able to work at the University of Greenwich, especially at the Natural Resources Institute. And I'm still in a very early stage in my career, so still figuring out what areas I am uh, good at, what areas I'm passionate to, to dive into. Working here has given me that space to to develop those skills, create these the different collaborative relationships. I knew that we were going to be talking about camel milk and I managed to get hold of some. Great. I'm so curious to know what it tastes like. Yeah. Will you try some with me? Of you course. You probably already know what it's like. Yeah, I've tasted it in, in Kenya where we were working and in that area, the camel milk has a smoky flavor. Um, the smoky flavor comes from when the herders are collecting the milk, um, they clean the container and they use charcoal and um, burn some herbs and woody plants in order to, in a way, traditional way of disinfecting the container before they collect the milk. Cheers. Cheers. How do you like it? Very strong smell. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, uh, it's like, a bit like goat milk has a strong, strong smell and also it's, it's nice and frothy. Yeah, it's very thick. I can imagine cooking with it. Mm -hmm. um, cooking I, I'm going to need some time to get the image of a camel providing this milk.